Quicken Loans strikes back. The online mortgage lender is suing the federal government for pressuring the company into settling fraud charges. The company says it did not commit. CEO Bill Emerson joins us now with the latest on the lawsuit, plus advice to buyers and sellers in this housing market this spring. Bill, thank you so much for coming on the show tonight. You know, we've heard a lot of complaints from banks and other mortgage lenders saying the government's been too tough. And uh, I want to share some facts about what you guys are reacting against. You say the government sampled 55 of your 250, nearly 250,000 loans. And they are angry because you miscalculated a borrower's, in borrower's income by $17 and lended that borrow, tw borrower, that is, $26 too much. This seems like uh, small beer, frankly. Why are you suing? Well, so let's start with this, uh, Jerry. I mean, first of all, it's great to be here. But Thank you. We're the largest lender, uh, our largest FHA lender in the country. By FHA's own objective standards, we are the highest quality, lowest default rate lender in the country. We're a five-time J.D. Power Award winner for client service. The FHA is going to re projected to receive over $5.7 billion worth of uh, net profits of insurance from our loans from 2007. And after three years of harassment by the DOJ, review of 85,000 documents, interviews and depositions of team members, the faulty analysis that you just mentioned on the 55 loans under the 250,000, we had no choice but to take action when the DOJ demanded that we make public admissions that are blatantly false and ask wow. us to pay a penalty that they can't even explain to us or face legal action. I think people would be shocked to understand that you are the biggest lender in the country, the biggest FHA lender in the country. I don't think anybody even heard of Quicken Loans 10 years ago. And here you are, you're number one. My question for you coming out of this lawsuit, though, is this. Is the kind of what you term harassment the government is giving you, the Department of Justice giving you right now, is this what has driven other banks out of the mortgage business? It's absolutely driven a lot of financial institutions away from the FHA program for sure. They've gone through this process. They've been uh, asked to pay large sums of money. They can't quantify the risk. And, and unfortunately, you know who suffers from that? It's Consumers. the American consumer, the middle class who depends upon the FHA program. Uh, and when you don't have lenders that are willing to participate in that, access to credit becomes difficult. And it's just it's the wrong thing. To, it's the wrong message to the American people. My question for you is, what does this mean for the spring housing market? Because here we are, we're sitting at super low rates. Housing prices have come up somewhat, but they're still affordable for many people. And you can't get a loan. Yes, FHA has dropped uh, uh, down payments to 3%, but you may not qualify because it's so tough out there. People, I, I mean, I'm shocked at the degree to which big banks uh, are just are not making these loans, don't want to play. What will it take to get them back in the housing market, to get more competition? That's what I'd like to see. Well, I think it's going to take a clarity of rules. I think uh, the FHFA has been trying to clarify rules for Fannie and Freddie. You referenced a 3% down program that Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac have come out with. The FHA program has to get that same clarity around the rules of the road, and, and people have to understand the risk associated with FHA lending for them to come back in and play. I mean, the, the purchase market is on us in, in the spring. Uh, we're seeing uh, an increase from 2014, but 2014 was way off of 2013. So while it's good to see an increase in the, in the purchase numbers, we're still not where we think we should be. Long way to go. And, and I have some people telling me that they're seeing maybe even a slight decline year over year in total existing homes sold. What do your numbers tell you? Well, you had some numbers that came out today that showed, um, you know, uh, some of the numbers were up uh, in this spring. Uh, so I think actually we're starting to trend in the right direction. But as you know, real estate is regional. It's not national. And so you're going to have pockets of the country where uh, things are going better than others, uh, where prices are increasing more than others. And I think we're still seeing that today. Bill Emerson, thank you for coming on the show tonight and telling us about Quicken's story. We appreciate it. Thank you, Jerry. I appreciate it.